very much. Thank you very much. And now, Mr. Brannan. Commissioner, um, as we are all aware, and which is why we're here, uh, we're facing serious problems in agriculture. You're looking for solutions. I'm looking for solutions. The committee is looking for solutions. So I've been shopping and I've bought some solutions. And we've got here some uh, tea, which is from India. I've got bananas from the Caribbean. I've got chocolate with cocoa from Ghana. And I've got uh, coffee from Kenya. And what they all have in common is the fair trade mark. This is fair trade fortnight. And I get a guarantee as the customer that the farmer has been paid a fair price. A guarantee. I've also been shopping and I've got Polish, Polish sausage. I've got apples from Italy. I've got cheese from England. And I've got milk from France. And I have no guarantee, no guarantee that a fair price has gone to the farmer. In fact, it could have been produced at lower than the cost of production. How is it, and this is a question for the whole of the committee, for the commission, for the farmers' unions, for the farmers themselves, how was it that 15, 20 years ago, a small bunch of NGOs managed to develop a fair trademark with next to no money and very little public support and have made it a success so that today you get the guarantee that the farmer in the developing world gets a fair price? But we, with all our ability, with all our clout, with all our influence and with all our money, are unable to deliver a fair price to European farmers. And the answer is there. That is what we need to do. We need a fair trademark for <coughs> European farmers. I know how to do it. Let's get on and do it. You surprised us so much that I forgot about the time.